I don't know if you all can hear me okay. I hope you can. It says that I am not muted. We're up to looks like five people in here. I'm just I'm interested to see what the turnout on this looks like. I think this will be love it okay so people can hear me see it in the comments on discord that's great I'm gonna see how many people we get in here we got nine people watching we've only been live for a couple of minutes so I'm gonna let this roll I'm gonna keep us on this page well it's even a, it's even generating closed caption for me huh that's pretty neat I'm a fan of that The closed captioning, I would say, feels really like a uh, a, a boomer thing, but I, maybe that makes me a boomer. I'm a big fan of closed captioning. I always watch uh, subbed, not dubbed, you know. Let some more people jump in here. We got 14 people live. It's a little it's a little different doing it like this rather than uh doing some some live stuff on Twitter. Fewer people jump it in, so I'm interesting to see what the turnout on this will be like. But of course this will be saved for posterity so other people can come back and check this out in the future. Cause it will record this whole thing here. So for anyone who wants to jump out of this later. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm feeling good about this. If people want to come back and watch more later, they can. I'm going to leave uh, my chats on Discord here open on the second screen and take comments from people. So uh, for anyone who is watching who does not have multiple tiers, uh, this is what it looks like when you come in. So it'll basically right now show you one from each tier. So you can see I've got a penthouse, a suite, and a cyberpod. It'll let you pick one for now. Eventually it will show you all of them. So if you own 100 of these, it will literally show you individually all 100 of your capsules and you'll have the ability to name them. So if you uh, have, let's say, five different penthouses and eventually when we have, you know, thousands of different opportunities and ways to upgrade and customize your penthouse, you could have different themes for each one of those penthouses. So you could like say, I want to make this one the uh, Wild West theme. I want this one to be a permanent Christmas theme, whatever you're feeling. So I'll jump into here. You can see it loads up quick. Uh, for any of you who are running a weaker uh, right now with the graphic settings, granted, I'm also streaming and doing other things, so it's going to bog it down a little bit. Uh, it's going to run a little slower in here. It's because of all the lighting effects specifically. So here in a couple of updates uh, within a week when we have several different graphic settings you can pick from, that should help things out. Uh, you can see in here we can update our motorcycle. 
So you can change the headlight style that you want there. You can swap out uh, engines. Of course, I'm going to go back to the supercharged. Uh, you can switch your primary weapon, your secondary weapon, your weapon one color. Since your weapon one is attached to the whole body of the bike here, you can see it changes the entire color and skin of the bike. For weapon two, this is not in yet. So this part right now is just a holder. And these sliders down here do work. So for roughness, it does create a change in the feel of the texture. So does metallic. I chose a terrible color to highlight this on. Let's try a uh, darker one here. So for the purple, you can see the roughness changes sort of the glossy feel to it, right? It makes it a bit more matte. And the metallic also sort of changes the shine to it a bit. So hit validate and boom, there you go. And of course you can update whatever NFTs you want on the wall. We have a demo wallet that's live. And then of course you can go into your wallet. So let's check out my cat on crack here. Also, if you hit E again, it will close that. So if you just hit E again, it'll close your options. Uh, walking up to doors changes them. I'll come back in here later to show you some other functionality. Eventually when you go out into the world, You'll be able to use this door here. Not quite there yet, though. One day. Uh, this pops you out into your living room. You can see it saved all of my stuff I set up last time. So it's got my monkeys there. You can come here in the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen is the other spot where it may have the opportunity to slow your stuff down quite a bit. Because there's so much lighting going on in there. On here, for now, uh, you can also come in and edit your favorite crypto that you want to watch. So if you've got a particular one, you can actually type in here. So you can say, I've got mine set to soul. I can change the hour intervals and then hit validate and it will update the graphs here live. And those are live. Uh, in this room right next to it is your area to change out your fit. Of course, we're going to change to our anybody's hoodie. You get our anybody's shoes on and validate there. And we're going to pop back out here. These doors do slide open. So these are sliding doors as well. They're automatic. Don't have to hit anything. They just pop open. Uh, you can see right now it is snowy out. And right now the weather, I believe, is set to change every 10 minutes until we get the long-term solution, which is going to be it automatically updates to the real-time weather in the actual city of Hong Kong for realism. Pop upstairs here, you can see here, boom, we have the arcade machine that will be hooked up in the future. Of course, all of these on the wall, you can change to whatever you want. I'll put my Ape Energy Labs there. And again, pop through the sliding door into your bedroom. More spots to hang your NFTs. You can pop into the bathroom here. Check out your nice shower. And pop out on the patio again through the moving doors there you've got your outdoor seating it's because this is a penthouse you have your pool uh, i'm not necessarily dressed appropriately for the pool uh, again there's monkey tower and then since we've seen all of the penthouse and we do have the ability to jump now uh, we're going to go back downstairs and show you how easy it is if you own multiple of these to transition from one to the other so we'll go back to our starting room here the garage and we will go up to the computer station here. It'll pull this back up for us. And if I want to switch instead to my suite, I click it and it automatically has now changed. But it saved my changes from earlier. So you can see now the stairs are gone to go upstairs, right? So we've, we've shrunk the size. And... upstairs is completely and the feel of this room has actually changed a little bit too the colors are slightly different the layout is mostly the same but there are a little bit uh, different look and feel and then if we come back in and i want to check out my cyberpod same thing it's completely changed so the kitchen is a significantly smaller you can see do you have a door here to go to your completely different bathroom right since the bathroom on the penthouse is upstairs. And you can see the Yaku TV is there. 
You've got your living area, and there is no terrace. So you are much closer to the water on this level. And you can still see Monkey Tower. It's just really far up there, because obviously this one is lower down on the ground. And you've got your fridge and everything here. So eventually, what will happen is, uh, one thing that will change is in the next couple of updates, every single one of these that you log into will save its own individual information. So they'll all be different. So if I update... Uh, you may have noticed when I went from penthouse to suite, when I uh, switched it out, the images on the wall were still the same. So they, they saved between them. So when I saved it in one spot, it saved it in all three spots, and it's more wallet locked rather than individual penthouse, suite, etc. locked. But in a couple of updates, that'll be changed. We will also have the graphics settings that are changed. And we will also have, in just a couple of weeks, integration for Audius, so you can play music while you're in here hanging out. Uh, some integration in the same Yaku TV where you could come in and watch YouTube if you want, so in the future, and you can invite friends over. Uh, you can be watching sort of the same content together in that way. And we'll also have some signaling tools from Hawksight as a partner that you can come in and watch your trading signaling together. And eventually, long term, maybe even do some buying from within here. There's some free alpha for anyone who's tuning into the live. I am not seeing uh, any questions in the Discord holders chat right now, uh, but that is a pretty much a general overview of everything for right now. Uh, questions about future updates. Uh, there's some answers already in the announcements from today, but feel free to send those along and feel free to share this video with your friends and let them see what we're working on. Uh, this is the first beta version. We're going to update this a ton of times. Uh, there, there's not going to ever be a time when we are done updating this. We'll just continually be evolving and making the game better. And you can see here you can hit save. Uh, options button is not working now, but in the future, in literally just a few days, that's where you'll have your graphic settings that you can change to lower that down so it's easier on your rig, things like that. So thank you, everybody, for uh, tuning in. Nice little overview. If you have questions, if you know anyone that has questions, uh, oh, I actually, before I go, I see some comments here actually on Facebook. Uh, let's see what we've got there. I'm not seeing all of them. Uh, Damn looks sick, love it, so sweet, love it. Date TBA, correct, for the profile picture mint, yes, it is TBA. Uh, we're looking at April. Uh, I don't see any other questions, though. So, guys, I'm, I'm going to just log out of this bad dad. And if there are more questions, feel free. Hit me up in Discord. You know I am always around. And I'm looking forward to it, you guys. This has been great. We may do more of these. We may not. I think uh, we've got a Twitch. I just didn't readily have the login info. So, in the future, it's likely we will do some live events like this on Twitch. And I'm looking forward to it, everybody.